Good evening and welcome to the Nutter Center here on the campus of Wright State University. It is the Division IV State Volleyball Championship match coming your way. This is the New Bremen Cardinals. They were the number two ranked team in the state of Ohio and they will be playing the number three ranked team, the Tiffin Calvert Senecas. My name is Mark Shines. My pleasure to do play by play alongside Chris Lutholt. Chris, let's talk about the Senecas a little bit first. These two teams know each other very well. They've got a big history in this, in this tournament down here. Well, what, what are our options? What are we going to see from the Senecas today? Well, first of all, they played 11 players yesterday. And so that's very unusual for a team in the state tournament to play 11 players. It's hard to get 11 players in. The only player really that plays the whole time is the, is the Libro, Cecilia Palm. The others trade off front row, back row. They'll be running a 6-2, at least they did yesterday. And uh, they also have a lot of signature wins this year. They defeated Toledo Central Cath uh, uh, Toledo uh, St. Ursula, who was down here in Division One. So they have played the great schedule, as both teams have. They have a lot of balance, um, and they've been here before. Well, they are 27-1. They were 14-0 in the Sandusky Bay Conference River Division. They have two outstanding senior hitters in Caroline Lanachek and Cameron Shook. And they were middle hitters as freshmen down here uh, when, when they were in the state tournament three years ago. So um, it's very unusual to have left-handed middle hitters, let alone have two of them, let alone to be freshmen. <laughs> and that was, that was three years ago. Now this year, they'll, they'll play some in the middle and some on the right side. They, they uh, sort of trade off with some of the other players in the middle and on the right. Let's shift our focus to the Bremen Cardinals and, and Diana Kramer. Her team comes in at 24 and 4. They were tri champions in the Midwest Athletic Conference. Your analysis of the Cardinals? Well, it's unusual for them to have uh, four losses, at least in recent years, but of course, these are four losses to t some tremendous teams. Uh, and these girls have been here before. They're led by um, uh, Olive, uh, Olivia Heitkamp, who's committed to go to Toledo. First team All-Ohio this year. She's an outside hitter. And also their all, first team All-Ohio setter, Melina Schrader. Uh, and they have experience at real, essentially every position. Well, Chris, let's talk about Melina Schrader a little bit. Uh, you were here yesterday, and she rolled an ankle over, and we'll have to see what her effectiveness will be this evening. Well, of course she's going to play. Yes. You know, that's, that's beyond question. And uh, we'll just have to keep an eye on that. Uh, she really does a lot of jump setting. She does a lot of moving to get to the ball. She wants to set every single ball. And um, I'm, there could be a little more pressure on the back row to pass her the perfect pass so she doesn't have to move and doesn't have to uh, put a, a little bit more pressure on that ankle. These two teams have won five of the last six state championships in Division Four volleyball. And the two times that Calvert won, Chris, they defeated the Bremen in the championship match. Yeah, so th they're like conference foes. You know, they play so <laughs> yeah. often. And um, just in talking with people down here, uh, of the four matches that are taking place today, this is the fourth one. This is the most anticipated one by just the general fans and the coaches that are down here that are here just to watch the tournament. It is state volleyball championship time. Our premier sponsor for the Nebreman Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate. For the Nebreman Cardinals, make your next move with a name you can trust. That's Hemelgarn Real Estate. That's our pregame show. We have the championship match in Division Four between Tiffin Calvert and Nebreman Cardinals coming up right after this. You're watching the state championship volleyball match on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center in a state championship volleyball time. Our presenting sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. We are ready for set one. And Chris, before we do that, let's throw some props out because a special award went out to Diana Kramer this week. She was the Sportsman Ethics and Integrity Championship coach for this particular tournament. Congratulations to Coach Kramer. And it's a very nice award. Uh, more on her work that she puts in, maybe off the court yes. and in the community, as well as what she does with the volleyball team. Just uh, very well deserved. 
Coach Kramer in her eighth year at New Bremen. How about these for stats, Chris? 203 wins, 21 losses in eight seasons. It's her 14th season overall. 338 and 44 in her coaching career. And you had 21 losses, is that right? Just 21 losses just, in eight seasons. Yeah, How about so that? there's quite a few teams that lose 21 in one season. <laughs> yes, there are. Her counterpart, uh, counterpart from Tiffin Calvert, who I run back, she's in her sixth season. She's won 50 and 12 in her seasons there. She's won two state championships at Calvert, as has Coach Kramer at the Riemann, and we are ready for championship volleyball. R1 is Mark Rose, R2, Scott Mooney. Our two line judges are Shelby Kitchens and David McRae. Set, hit, that was Dan Myers, blocked out of bounds, point New Bremen. That's the way to start, a good pass, a good set, and a kill. Now it was blocked, but it was blocked out of bounds, so we get a kill on that. And we'll get, the ball was underneath my chair, didn't even realize we're rolling at the table here. And we're waiting for one to get in play here. Well, there got, we go. They've got three of them, so. This will be Amelia Dan Meyer to serve, second team MAC player this year. Here's Amelia's serve. Her team's up 1-0 to Cecilia Palm. Set. And that one goes out of bounds on the hit by Caroline Lanachek. And she's a first team All Ohio. In fact, we've got. Four, uh, three first-team All-Ohio players playing today, one second-team and two honorable mentions. Yeah. Substitutes, we change bodies on the side. This will be Claire Schoenberger to serve. She's a sophomore with 50 aces, including three more of those uh, on the semifinal match last night. To Dan Meyer, Schrader sets. Olivia Heitkamp pushes to an open spot. And the joust of the net is won by Mary Rindler. We'll keep an eye on uh, Melina Schrader. It looked like she came down a little, little odd on that Let's ankle see, uh, just a minute right ago. The right ankle is taped, Chris. It's got a brace on it as well. And here's the uh, libero, Kira Steininger, to serve. If you're watching on our screen, the white shirts belong to a New Bremen. They're on the right side of your screen along with the libero in uh, in the uh, burgundy uniform, the dark black and blue uniforms for Calvert. And their libero, Cecilia Palm, wears white. She just checked out. Here's Schrader's set, Heitkamp. Olivia Heitkamp. That's the future Toledo Rocket right there. 3-2. Early on here, big crowd from both schools, as you might expect. Both of these schools travel very, very well. Here's Melina Schrader to serve. To Palm, here's the set by Olivia Miller, and then it goes off for Schrader. And that's, a, that's a kill by Cameron Shook, also second team All-Ohio. We're tied at three. Now Chris, we might take just a moment and explain this. You talked about they, they have 11 different bodies they use, but you are allowed 18 total subs per set not counting what the libero comes in and out with. Yeah, so they may be pushing that. I think during the regular season, they might have won more handily enough that they didn't need to approach that 18 uh, substitutes. But, but with a, a possible long sets, uh, that could come into play today. The 4-3 count is because Ava Trentman put a spike away. Our spikes are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. High camp serves. And unable to keep it in play. The pass wasn't very good, and we have our first point scored off of serve. As both teams had gone side out their first to three serves. Heitkamp will serve again with a two-point lead. Set, hit to Heitkamp. Amelia Dan Meyer, did she get it in? She did. Yes. That's her second kill. First player to two kills. So Heitkamp doubled him up. 6-3. It's her serve again. A little bit of an overpass in the beginning of the net. I think she either was in the net or stepped under, uh, stepped across the center line. I'm not sure which. That was the setter trying to get to get to that one. Uh, Bryn the Dirksen. Here's Bryn again, right at the net. And 
Back row attack. A couple of bad passes. Yeah, those passes are too tight to the net. She's a back row player, so she's not allowed to go up there and knock that ball over unless the ball's partially below the net. Heitkamp serving for the fifth time and leaves that one into the net a bit short. But a good service run for her. She scored four points. Well, New Bremen might miss a lot of serves. They missed quite a few in the regional final against Fort Lormley, but they serve so tough, they get a lot of aces as well. Allie Porter's turn to serve for Calvert. Heitkamp's going to set, and she did so illegally. 8-5. Scoreboard today is presented by Holman Interiors. It's 8-5. New Bremen ahead. Damar is going to set Heitkamp. She just has to free ball it over. Back set. That one is by Cameron Shook. Schrader will set again from behind the 10-foot line. It's Heitkamp. And pushing the ball through the block is Emily Miller off of a Cardinal. 8-6. We haven't had a long volley yet, yes, a long correct. rally. And that one is long. Makes it 9-6 right in front of us. As we're seated here at court side, but right at the end line. And somebody asked me today, Chris, it's 30 foot by 30 foot on each side of the net, isn't it? Yep. 900 square 900 feet. 900 square feet to try to hit the ball in, too, with how somebody playing it back. That one's hit over by Miller, Emily Miller. That ball's tipped to the open area by Mary Rindler. Schrader will go get it. This will be Amelia Dammeyer, but he, she hits in the net. The ball was set a little bit far back for her. Yeah, 900 square feet. The coaches are asking you to find one of those 900 and square feet. Put that round sphere inside of it. Here's Cecilia Palm, the libero with her white jersey. Cecilia is one of the five seniors on Calvert's team. Back set Riddler, and Palm was able to get to it. Schrader will set Dan Meyer, and Amelia hits it through a blocker. It's her third kill. Well, they've got four, five seniors, but they also play three freshmen among their 11 players. I'm talking about Tiffin Calvert. New Bremen has a three seniors. That would be uh, the two Dammeyers, Amelia and Olivia, and uh, Olivia Heitkamp. Good serve that time from April Baker. Schrader just tips it over to the open area. Good play, however, by Brent Dirksen. Here's Rindler. She pushes it to an open area. Mary Rindler scores. That's her first kill. Four girls now have kills for New Bremen. Baker's sort of a designated server. She'll serve she is. and then come out. She has a 22 aces. That was going to be 23 as she rolls it across the net. She had three aces in their win over Shenandoah uh, last night. And that's why she's in there to serve. 12-7. April Baker again. And a good serve. Hit from the back row by Allie Porter. Schrader pushes it. Porter again. April Baker got to that one. Steininger plays it over. And through the blocker goes Caroline Lanachek. That's kill number two for her. Three different girls for Calvert have kills. 12-8. These famous recipe chicken sponsors our spikes today. In the service, Olivia Miller, and then she will turn into the setter with 533 assists coming into the state tournament weekend. Set, Amelia Dammeyer. 13-8. Well, Amelia's really getting the opportunity to hit today, and she's proving that she should be because that's her fourth kill. Uh, only one other player has two, and that's Lanachek from Calvert. Amelia Danhart will, Dammeyer will serve. That was hit by Bryn Meyer, one of those freshmen mentioned a moment ago. We have somebody in the net, and Schrader went down hard. 
Yeah, somebody from uh, New Bremen was in the net. 13-9. I was watching Molina and not looking to see who was the official signal for being in the net as Claire Schoenberger serves. High camp. Olivia hit it out. Nothing wrong with going down line. It was just out a little bit. 13-10. It was touched. Oh, that's a kill. Yes, it was. I know Coach Kramer immediately signaled touch. I did not see the official make that call, but he did, obviously. There's a block. Trentman and high camp. I really like watch Steininger serve. She can serve down line as well as anybody. Our first time out will go the way of the Tiffin Calvert Senecas. They trail 15-9 in the opening set. You're watching State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Home and Interiors in New Bremen. We are ready to partner with you on your home renovation or new build. Good luck, New Bremen Cardinals from Home and Interiors. And that scoreboard has them up six at 15-9 with Kara Steininger to serve. We'll see, see if she goes down line again. As I said before the break, she's one of the best I've seen at serving down line. And by down line, I mean down into zone one where uh, uh, number two right now is Schoenberger. Schoenberger. Nope, she that gets time, an zone six that time. <laughs> yeah, right down the middle. 16-9. She had four aces against Shenandoah last night. That is her 62nd of the year. And she serves again. There's down the line. Set. Hit. Bryn Meyer. Schrader will set Trentman. And that time Molina dumped it over. That was Lanachek. Heitkamp's going to get a look. A nice diving play that time by Olivia Miller. Olivia Heitkamp. Again, New Bremen wants a touch. And they did not get it this time. Nope. Makes it 16-10. And Caroline Lanachek, the left-hander, gets it across. Schrader will hit that one. She's a front row player and can do that. And what well, looked like number one, Bryn Meyer, was all the way across the center line, wasn't she? I didn't see it at all. Yep. I think that's the call. Okay. You can put your foot on that line and even have a part of your foot over it, but she also had part of her knee over the line that time as well. No, the knee doesn't get the privileges nope. that the feet do. Melina Schrader serve, and a nice play. Olivia Miller, 17-11. Well, Olivia is one of the Miller sisters. Her sister Hannah, of course, is having a great year at the University of Finley right now. Bryn Dirksen's turn to serve. Brings a freshman. Heitkamp has to run it down. And then uh, uh, Olivia Dammeyer. Schrader got to that one. This is Amelia Dammeyer to Heitkamp. Oh, good play by Calvert to keep it alive and score point. You don't ever give up on a play against that team, do you, Chris? You absolutely. In any, it doesn't matter who you're playing. Yeah. You do not give up on that. You play to the whistle. And Calvert did that time. Here's Olivia Heitkamp. She hits it really hard to Schoenberger. Off the net by Olivia Dammeyer. Hit from the back row by Schoenberger. And that kill goes to Olivia Dammeyer. Makes it 18-12, New Bremen. That's about the longest uh, rally we've had so far. Spikes today are sponsored by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, and you just saw one right there. Olivia Heitkamp. Set. This kill will attempt by Bella Borgio, and goes out to New Bremen point. It is 19-12, opening set. 
Libby Heitkamp again. Borgio again, and it went long. Perhaps a, a little bit of a, a freshman nerve, perhaps. And we're going to get a Calvert timeout. They trail by eight here in the opening set. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center, where tonight our spike sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Another lengthy timeout for Calvert. They spend a lot of time in their huddle over there, Chris. Well, they're not used to being down by eight <laughs> uh, in, uh, you know, in the first set or in any set. So lots to talk about, maybe. Olivia Heitkamp, the team needs five points to take the opening set. Dirksen will set, this time she sets Cameron Shook. From behind the 10 foot line, good play defensively and then a play at the net by Shook. And what do we got? Not sure what, I didn't get that call. Well, the call is, point will go by yeah. the way of, <laughs> yeah, the New Bremen, Heitkamp served uh, four points on the opening service for her. This is uh, three points right here. And long, 21-13. Allie Porter's turn to serve. She had a couple of aces in their semifinal win the other day over Canton Central Catholic. But not this time, it was 22-13. Well, Calvert at this point can't really afford to exchange one point for one point. New Bremen can, although I, they probably don't want to do that. Sarah Dwenger will serve, the junior. Another or, designated yes, server. Sir. She'll serve and then, and, then, and then leave the game. She has so. 23 aces in the 23 campaign. Blocked and blocked out of bounds by Rindler, 22-14. And you are correct because a little exchange is made and then the libero, Kier Steininger, will enter and play for Sarah Dwanger. Here's her counterpart, Cecilia Palm. And Cecilia gets an ace, 22-15. 36th ace of the season for her. And the first one for Calvert today. They have played us 80 sets before today. The Calvert Senecas. Riddler's block came right back from Caroline Lanachek. First block from uh, Calvert tonight. I think that timeout uh, helped, that lengthy timeout that we talked about. Uh, six point deficit now. We haven't called Lanachek or Shook very many times for kill opportunities. Schrader will set. Amelia Dammeyer hits it off a block. Palm got to it. Blocked at the net. There we have a play by Caroline Lanachek. Twenty-two seventeen on the service by Cecilia Palm. She made a great play to save that uh, ball that was going to her right. Actually made the point. And Palm service out of bounds. Twenty-three seventeen. April Baker enters. And her serve is long. It's 23-18. It's a fourth miss serve for uh, the Cardinals. Well, Coach Kramer talks often about being an attacking team. She talks about a risk reward. And so, as you mentioned earlier, they'll take that risk and knock a few long ones to get points off their service. Olivia Miller to Heitkamp. Wow. Steininger made a save. But the ball then goes long. It's 23-19. They suddenly have a four-point set. Coach Kramer has not used a timeout yet. Coach Rumback has used both of hers. And another ace. It's 23-20. This is an ace that will go the way of Olivia Miller. 
Olivia now has 52 aces, and we will get a timeout that will go to New Bremen. TV44, WSN, or nonprofit organization supported by viewers like you. Now is a great time to make a donation in any size as a way to say thank you for this sports broadcast. Go to WTOW.com and click Donate here. Donations are accepted 24 hours a day, and you can visit WTLW.com. Our final volleyball telecast of the year, Chris, been a really good year. It has been. Actually, this is the final volleyball game it of is. the year, period. So it's uh, real nice for us to be able to bring this to the people in West Central Ohio. Cincinnati McNicholas lost to Mentor Lake Catholic in our first match today in the Division Three Finals. Cincinnati Mercy McCauley won the Division Two, and Kingsmill Kings won Division One earlier today. And going up and putting it away with some authority is Mary Rindler. That might have been a called in, a, a, a called play by Coach Kramer in the timeout. Here's Amelia Dammeyer. Cardinals need a point to take set one. Miller sets. It's pushed over by um, Emily Miller. High camp. And Olivia missed the sideline going cross court. 24-21. Claire Schoenberger will enter to serve. Steinegger, Schrader back sets. Rindler tips. Didn't stay in. Oh, it went out. Really good idea, Chris. Yep. Just missed the spot. Well, it was, and she got a kill the last time they set to her, back set to her off serve receive. So, yeah, you can't blame the decision to do that. Steininger passes to Schrader again. Olivia Heitkamp. And Olivia Heitkamp puts away point number 25. The New Bremen Cardinals will take the opening set of the Division Four State Championship match, 25-22. Set two coming up after this. You're watching State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're ready for second set action here at the Nutter Center at Wright State University. Our premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate. Make your next move with a name you trust. That's Hemelgarn Real Estate. Chris, what stat numbers we have from set number one? Well, for New Bremen, uh, they had 13 kills, led by Amelia Dammeyer with four. They had two ace serves. Steininger had one, and Baker had one. They missed four serves and had two blocks. For Calvert, uh, they had eight kills, led by Amelia, uh, excuse me, Emily Miller with two. Caroline Lanichek with two, and Cameron Shook with two. Uh, they had two ace serves, and that was by Olivia Miller and um, uh, Cecilia Palm. And they missed three serves and had two blocks. I think the story of that first set was that uh, Calvert was down 21 to 13, and they outscored New Bremen nine to four in the back half of that set. So that perhaps gives them a little confidence as they head here into set number two to, to rally like that, get back in it. Yeah, you can use that as a rallying point and say, listen, we might have lost that, but we won the last third of that. So let's just take that right into set number two. As we go to set number two, Amelia Dammeyer will be the server for the New Bremen Cardinal. To Palm, back set. Hit by Lanachek. Rindler plays it over. And that kill goes to Bryn Meyer. That's kill number two for Bryn. First point of set. Number two goes to the Tiffin Calvert Senecas. Claire Schoenberger to serve. Olivia Heitkamp 
but she pushed it right into the arms of Allie Porter. Schrader runs a long way to get it. Heitkamp bounces it off the top of the net that time. Allie Porter hits it through a block. First two points go to Tiffin Calvert. And that's her first kill. Six girls now have kills for uh, the Senecas. Schrader back sets. That was Rindler, and Mary's going to get a point. She got four kills. Now she ties Amelia Dammeyer for the lead. Kara Steiniger's serve. She had an ace in the opening set. And another one. We're tied at two. Well, Mark, we were down here last year and uh, watching her, and she just serves so well in this gym. Just a, a float serve, and it really bounces around and dances around like a knuckleball. Allie Porter, that was blocked. Trentman hits it to the back row. That was Atlanta check, and Atlanta check gets a point. That's her third kill. And with that, Carol Lanachek will serve. I think she's played for like six or eight years. <laughs> Her well, and Shook both. It just seems like they've been here for a long, long well, time. Well, they played such an important part when they were freshmen. That was Olivia Heitkamp. And she now has four kills. So three girls from New Bremen have four kills. Melina Schrader. Player of the Year in the Midwest Athletic Conference this year as a junior. She'll be coming to Dayton to play her volleyball career, but not in that facility at the University of Dayton. She'll be a flyer. And we have Olivia Dammeyer in the net. So it is 4-3. Uh, you can see the net bobbing still from our viewpoint, so clearly somebody was in the net. Here's Bryn Dirksten. She will serve and then become the setter as a freshman. Schrader has to er, die for that one. I mean, uh, Steiner got to die for that one. That was high camp. Point goes the way of Calvert. 5 3. So there's that, uh, you know, the momentum from the first set has led right into the second set. Dirksen again. Schrader sets, and Trentman puts it away. Ava Trentman out of the middle. Their second kill. Nice little front slide off serve receive. You don't see that too often. Olivia Heitkamp. And Olivia gets an ace. We're tied at five. She had three of those yesterday in the semifinal win over Shenandoah. That would be her uh, 33rd of the year right there. Lanachek. Schrader and Heitkamp from behind the 10 foot line. Took a little off that one. Good diving play by Melina Schrader. Cecilia Palm runs it down. Steiniger will set. Is that legal? I didn't think so. Well, I would like to see that again. Well, she did. I'm not sure where she. It looked like she took off behind the line, but but uh, the official's got a better view than I do. Let, let's let's explain the call. When you are the libero, you cannot use fingertip action to set the ball in front of the 10-foot line if it's a kill attempt. But she can take off behind the line. She can. And now we're going to get a, a question here from. Uh, the captain, Olivia Heitkamp, her coach said, please go over and have that explained to you. It was really close. I, I was watching the official to see if he was going to make the call, and that call is going to stand, so it will be 6-5 Senecas. Yeah, I don't think the question from New Bremen was the rule. It was, yeah. what, it was where her feet were when she took off and left the floor. Correct. Calvert wanted a four hit and didn't get it. That one's blocked by 
Uh, Amelia Dammeyer. That one's hit over by Olivia. To Steiniger. Amelia Dammeyer gets it blocked, but four hits. That one did not get over. Kate Coleman, yet another freshman at 5-6. Back set. Heitkamp saved it. Steininger pops it up in the air, and Amelia Danmeyer pushes it over. A little free ball. Schrader sets. Trentman hits. Got it in. She's been set three times. She's got three kills. Now she will rotate out, and Sarah Dwanger will enter to serve. Very happy Ava Trentman left the floor that time. A couple good plays from her. Yes. Just a junior. She'll be back next year. Back set, put away. That was Cameron Shook. A third kill for the second team All-Ohioan. Cecilia Palm serves. Well, they scored a lot of points when she served in the first set. And she got an ace right there. One of the hardest balls to pass for the serve receive people are the short serves. Biggest lead of the match for the Senecas. Uh, Mid damn, our pancake, they saved it. Good play. Again, and that time uh, she scores. Yep. And I think that was right. I think it was pancaked. That's her fifth kill. Th those are so hard for officials to call because you're looking down at it and you can't tell whether she gets hand under the ball, whether the ball makes contact with the floor. Really hard call, but the correct one. Here's April Baker. That's why you need some help from your line judges. Exactly. And your R2. Schrader. Wayne's going to just free ball it over. Probably a good choice. Lanachek. Schrader again. She pushed it to an open area. That's how she gets so many kills. A lot of kills for a setter. That is correct. She had 130 before today, and that's a lot for a setter. Here's Baker again. That kill goes to Emily Miller. Back and forth we go. It's a two-point lead still for the Senecas. Well, so far yeah. we haven't really had a, a run of points by either team in this set. What's the most? Uh, let's see. Looks like two. two Each team's yeah. had a couple of twos. And long serve. First missed serve of set number two. 10-9 Senecas. Amelia Dammeyer, second team. Midwest Athletic Conference performer this year. Tipped over by Bryn Meyer. Palm will set. Overpass, but New Bremen keeps it in play, and Heitkamp rolls it across the top of the net and gets a point. Just casual observation. It seems like Olivia might be off a little bit today. She had a lot of balls that seemed to, to crawl across the top of the net one way or either for point or not. Well, it could be a little bit. Um, you know, playing in the state championship, yeah. maybe... Uh, Outside the attack, it hit the intent of that time on the effort by Atlanta. Yep. Yeah. But it's early. I mean, she does have five yeah. kills. She does. So. Yeah. It's not like she's playing poorly. Yeah. 11 10. This is the first New Bremen lead in set two. Atlanta check hits it to Steiniger. She's going to get another opportunity. Schrader hits it to the back row to Danmar. High camp. That was a good hit. And that's going to end up being a point for the Cardinal. Now the ball was set a little bit too outside, uh, outside the antenna. And, and um, Meyer had a tough time 
getting an approach to be able to hit that. So that's all she could do. Didn't mean that to sound critical of Olivia Heitkamp. She had just been so good all year long and it just kind of looked like a, a little bit different type of player. Olivia Dan Meyer Steininger will set the proper way that time. There's Heitkamp. I think she heard you. Yeah, I think so. She woke up if, if she yep. didn't. She did have an issue, it's not there now, and that will force a Calvert timeout. 13-10, New Bremen in set number two. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at the Nutter Center, where our spikes tonight are sponsored by Lee's, famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken where home style happens here. And that was a very definite Olivia Heitkamp spike on that last point to make it 13 10. Yeah, first of all, right down to the floor. Now, her previous spike was hit just as hard, but it went right at mm -hmm. uh, Cecilia Palm, and she was able to dig that out. But this one went right down to the floor. The Amelia Damire's turn to continue her service, I guess. She has scored four points on this service run. Helped her team to a 13-10 lead in the second set. Serve was a pass a little bit long for Carol Lanichek. Pushed to the back row, and Schrader gets a point. She got quite a few kills like that yesterday. That's her third kill. Very adept with that left hand, isn't she? Pushing well, the ball yeah, back. And almost all teams play a, a six back, so that, that zone is open um, and, until a spike would come when girls can rotate into that spot. Schrader will set this time. Mary Rindler and illegally contacted. That ends the run of five service points for Amelia Dammeyer. 14-11, New Bremen. Schoenberger serve goes to Steininger. She's kept riding backwards. Rindler shots block. She'll give that one to Caroline Lanachek. Yeah, it was a nice block. First block of the set by either team. Schoenberger, the sophomore again. Good serve. Schrader goes up at the net and contests it. And it's pushed to the back row. And Heitkamp tried to make a block on it, couldn't. Coach Kramer wanted a double contact, and so does Heitkamp. They're not going to get the call, though. Well, it was one of those balls that kind of bounces around at the net from one player on one side to another player on the other side. A block does not count as a contact. If it's, if it's above the height of the net, and I think yes. that's what they were discussing. There's an ace. If the block occurs below, the ball's entirely below the height of the net, it counts as a first contact. I think that's what uh, they wanted. Anyway, we're up, we're tied at 14. To Steininger. Schrader has to free ball it. That one's blocked. There's Olivia Heitkamp. That's the first block for New Bremen in this set. 15-14. As Kara Steininger will serve. 63 aces for her this season in her junior year. Trentman is there along with Molina Schrader and a combined block. Gets New Bremen back on the board for another point. Ball gets loose here. We've got three ball system down here at Wright State and so one of the three got loose. And Dan Meyer chased it down like a good volleyball player does. Then Meyer entered while that ball was being chased down. Lana check. 16-15. And she's got five kills now, three in this set. Of course, with her and uh, Cameron Shook both being left-handed, they get a lot of points out of that corner. They do, and, and Shook, play, that's her base position often as opposed to being in the middle where she's been in the past. Of course, as I've said many times, I like those uh, left-handed hitters out there. Look at that. Oh, how right about high down, down the line in the back corner. She is having quite a set here in set number two. 
And she, she's so excited she wanted to serve again. And well, it's easy to get mixed up. Yeah, Melina says, nope, it's my turn. Melina Schrader, bad ankle and all, playing well tonight. That will serve, will miss. 17-16. will be Brent Dirksen's opportunity to go behind the line and serve. She's one of the setters in their 6-2 uh, system. Schrader will back set. And off the blocker, the point goes to Olivia Dan Meyer, 18-16. The hitters from New Bremen are so versatile. You know, they all can run the backslide there like we just saw and uh, quick hits. It's just fun to watch them. Olivia Heitkamp. 18-17. Two misses in a row. The ball's down here by our feet. They'll, they'll roll back on the court. I always like to touch the ball in basketball. <laughs> I never get a chance in volleyball very often. Yeah, my foot kicked that back out there onto the court. There you go, kick save. So, yep. Kate Coleman's to serve. Back set. That was hit was by Olivia Dammeyer. What a dig. Schrader will set again. Amelia Dammeyer. And that time, Amelia Dammeyer and Ava Trentman set it back, 1917. Schrader came down on that uh, left foot, bouncing a couple times on that as she jump set that ball out here. Calvert has used one timeout in this set. New Bremen has not used a timeout. Off the top of the net on that service by Dwanger. Ooh, one hand set. How about set. the set? And then the put away by Mary Rindler. Not many can set it with one hand to put that accurately, Chris. Yeah, that, that was just really nice to see. Of course, I've talked many times about that one handed set that Melina Schrader did from the right front spot clear across the court to the left spot last year, one game. I can't remember who it was against. Waiting for, I didn't hear the whistle blow the time, but Amelia Damar blocked it out of bounds. So it's 2018. Two big service runs in this particular set by Amelia Dammeyer made the difference. Here's Cecilia Palm. Schrader back sets. Olivia Dammeyer hit that one. And then the free ball. Schrader tracks it down. Heitkamp from behind the 10-foot line, and she just mistimed it, didn't she? Mistimed it and then tried to hit an off speed, and it uh, just didn't work. 2019. Cecilia Palm trying to tie this one up in set two. She has a lot of serving points so far today. That she does. Rindler kind of runs into Schrader. Didn't get a real good look at it. And then the tip across by Caroline Lana. Check, and we're tied at 20. She's got four kills in this set, six overall. Palm again. And an ace. Cecilia puts her team up 21-20. That's her third ace. She serves short a lot. And her ball really floats. High camp will set. Point, Amelia Dammeyer, we're tied at 21. Picks up her sixth kill. Well, game to four. Win by two. Win by two. <laughs> yep. April Baker. We've seen a lot of two-point sets down here in the state tournament this weekend. Good serve from her. Lanachek pushes it, but she does so. What, we got somebody in the net? Yes, we do. Gonna catch, catch Mary Rindler. 22-21. Senior Olivia Miller's turn at the service line with her team up one. 
Schrader sets. Oh, she lost the controller, got across the net. I think that was and on that purpose. hit to me. Oh, I got to touch the ball, Chris. <laughs> We're tied at 22. I didn't hear you say mine. Well, I fumbled a bit because I had my pencil in my hand. <laughs> well, I got to touch the ball. We're tied at 22 with number two, Amelia Dammeyer. Good service from her to Palm. Grindler and Heitkamp with that block. Free ball. Heitkamp. Hello. 23-22 on a really nice set from Melina Schrader and a put away by Olivia Heitkamp. There is our second timeout. That one will go to Coach Rombaugh. 23-22, New Bremen. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Home and Interiors in New Bremen. We are ready to partner with you on your home renovation or a new build. Good luck to the New Bremen Cardinals. And our presenting sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Tiffin Calvert has now used both of their timeouts in this set. New Bremen has yet to call a timeout either in either set today. Well, they did call one in the first set, didn't they? Right down the towards the end. Yeah. But none in this set. Right. 23-22. Miller runs a long way to get it and had to run so far she illegally contacted the ball. New Bremen, a point away from taking a second set victory. That's yeah, a tough break when the score is 23-22. Point here would make the score of the two, first two sets identical. But now, nah, point went the other way, 24-23. And Emily Miller becomes the Seneca server. Well, I look for this ball to come out here to uh, Height Camp. Set by Schrader, high camp. You called it, but she hit the palm. Schrader again, high camp again. But the block came back. I wasn't they, sure which side that yeah, of the net that ball landed on. That, that's uh, Albert's second block in this set. Good that time was Lanichek. Yes, we're tied at 24. Yep. Win by two. Schrader dumped it over, but a good play that time by Olivia Miller. They kept it alive. Dammeyer gets it over. Lanichek hit it. Schrader sets high camp. Calvert gets the point. They are a point away from taking this set. Well, we've had two sets to go right down to the wire. Both teams in the 20s, exactly what we expect. Schrader sets, high camp off a blocker. Schrader will two-hand it, but Lanchek got it. But the point will go to Nubarimen. Make it 25 all. So Schrader's not only a, a great skater, setter skill-wise, but just very smart. A nice time to do that. It's her third kill in this set. Libero Steiniger. Right down line. What do we got? Touch. Yep, yep. Kill from Meyer. Freshman gets her third. 26-25. Caroline Lanachek. Schrader hits it to the back row and gets a point for her efforts. We're tied at 26. Well, she'll go to the back row now, so she won't be able to do that. Melina Schrader. Nice serve. 
Olivia Heitkamp to the back row. Again. Trentman out of the middle. Porter got it in. Allie Porter found a spot. 26-27. Bryn Meyer, the freshman. And you wonder now if Calvert is getting pretty close to that 18 substitutes. Good point. The uh, R2 is supposed to warn the coach. I did not see if he did or not. Wow. They saved it. Heitkamp tips it to an open area. Kill attempt coming right here. That's blocked. Then Heitkamp hits it long. And this set will go to the Tiffin Calvert Senecas at 28-26. Each team has won a set. Set number three coming up after this. You're watching the State Turner Volleyball match on WOSN. Third set action coming up from the Nutter Center here on the campus of Wright State University. Our presenting sponsor for this match is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Mark Shine, Chris Lutholt. Chris, I see you're hurriedly scribbling some numbers down. Well, what do we got? I'm doing that because whoever's keeping my stat sheet has missed a few, and I'm oh. getting them off the official stat sheet that was passed out. I'm going to have to have a word with that person who keeps my stat sheet. But what I have here is that uh, New Bremen had 16 kills in that set, led by Olivia Heitkamp with five, and Melina Schrader, the setter, with four. They had two ace serves, one each by Heitkamp and by Kira Steininger. And uh, Calvert had 14 kills in that, led by four from uh, Caroline Lanachek and three from Cameron Shook. They had three ace serves. And two of those were by Cecilia Palm. Did I see on my stat page that uh, New Bremen has missed seven serves? Uh, and that's what I have for that, yeah. yes. And so they have four aces to yes. go along with that. Yeah. So we will go to a set number three. Check out our website, WSN.TV, for scores and standings for more sports and teams than anywhere else in the state. Check out the broadcast schedule, upcoming games, social media posts, and more at WSN.TV. Point goes to New Bremen to open the set. And Amelia Dammeyer to serve. I get matches like this, I can't keep stats because I start watching the match and well, cheering and everything else. Yeah, me I too. can't keep stats. And that one is long on the kill attempt by Bryn Meyer. So New Bremen scores the first two points of this set. Amelia Dammeyer. Lana check. Schrader dumped it over and gets a point for her effort. It's 3 0 New Bremen. That's her sixth kill. She really disguises that well. Yeah, I was convinced she was going to set that, and she holds off as long as possible before using the movement to tip it over. Good serve from Amelia Dammeyer. She served a lot of points that scored today. Steininger's going to set this time, and Heitkamp. And through a blocker, the point goes to Bryn Meyer. Freshman gets her fourth kill. Both these teams have a lot of returning players. New Bremen has just three seniors on their roster. Now they're three very talented seniors. Schrader hits that one to the back row. Skies it again, Chris. Well, she likes that corner back there. That's uh, kill number seven. She's just two behind uh, Olivia Heitkamp in team leadership. Kira Steininger. The libero, she's a junior. Blocked and stay in, it did. There's Ava Trentman. 
5-1. It's a six block for uh, the Cardinals. Tiffin Calvert, 27 and one on the season. New Bremen, 24 and four. Steininger with a nice dive to save that one. And Heitkamp's shot is blocked. Cameron Lanich, the Caroline Lanichek was there with Bryn Meyer. You're right though, that was a great, great dive and dig from Steininger. I thought it was gonna hit the floor. Lanichek, senior, 26 aces for her this season. Overpass, and that's gonna end up being a point. But Meyer's kind of making herself presence felt here in this set. Well, we don't have the heights for uh, Tiffin Calvert, but you know, she's gotta be six foot tall, six one. Tall, let's put it that way. She's tall, yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, well, Lister is tall. It's a high camp kill. Six, yeah, a good three. bump set by, I'm not sure who got it, but good bump set by, I guess it was uh, Amelia Dammeyer. Give her an assist. Melina Schrader. Dammeyer played that one. Schrader will set high camp again, and she tried to go down the line and point on a touch. No, somebody's in the net. Said 14, Cameron Shook was the call. Make it 7-3. Ace, Melina Schrader. Well, that ankle hasn't hindered her serving in any way. 68th ace for the season for her. She is the leader on the Cardinal team. And another one, back-to-back -back aces for Melina Schrader. And it's 9-3. Cardinals have come out uh, romping and stomping here in set number three after losing set two. And Heitkamp and Trentman got a block. Between the two of them makes it 10-3 and makes it. Was, Calvert, yeah, I thought they were going to call a timeout and makes a Tiffin Calvert timeout. It's 10-3, New Bremen in set number three. You're watching the state tournament volleyball match on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Home and Interiors in New Bremen. We are ready to partner with you or your home re on your home renovation or your new build. Good luck, New Bremen Cardinals. You had some interesting numbers on, during the break there, Chris, about this set. Well, New Bremen's got 10 points. They have two blocks, two aces, three kills uh, out of that 10 points, and the others are probably uh, their side out points, so it's a good start for them. Four points have been served by Melina Schrader, and she will continue to serve after the Seneca timeout. Ben Meyer got the ball through the blockers to end that run of points, make it 10-4. She's having kind of a sneaky good game so far. It's her fifth kill. Bryn Meyer had 100 kills on the season as a freshman. And she is making her presence felt in set number two and three, especially today. Brent Dirksen will serve for the Senecas. And Trentman hits. And that's her fifth kill. She's got five kills, and she's had her hands on several of those blocks, not keeping individual blocks. 11-4. Tipped by Shook. Schrader, that was blocked. Steiner to get to that one. Schrader pushes it to the back row where Palm is at. And off a of blocker, the kill by Cameron Shook. 11-5. The Calvert setters do not set the ball very high at all. 
And uh, they can do that when you've got uh, quick hitters and if you have hitters that maybe just take a two-step spike approach. Kate Coleman, another freshman. Schrader tried to save it and did. Trentman pushed it over. And then the block. Eva Trentman being a net hawk in this set. 12-5. Yeah, Dan Meyer and Trentman both got their hands on that. Dan Meyer first sort of blocked it to her right and finished off by Trentman. Sarah Dwanger. Sarah Dwanger gets an ace. 13-5. 24th of the season for Sarah. Well, that's that designated server. Got a couple of them. Her and April Baker do a wonderful job in that respect. Sarah again. And a bit long this time. It's 13-6. That's a nice thing about volleyball. You can situation substitute just like, um, you know, you do in football or, or maybe you have a situation substitute in baseball. Cecilia Palm. Back set. Olivia Dammeyer hit that one across. Steininger played that ball that came across. And Heitkamp from behind the 10 foot line put it into the net. It's 13 7. Cecilia Palm will return to the service line. What an accurate placement of the ball by Amelia Dammeyer. Well, when I started coaching, Mark, back in 1980, that would have been called as a, uh, as a prolonged contact. Yes. And, and um, I, I'm okay with the way they do it now. It, the players are very skilled, and, and, and uh, it extends the games, and, and I, like, I like the way it's called now. And, and consistency is the key. If you call it the same way every time, that's the key. And that's what the players and coaches yep, want. That's exactly right. That kill goes to Emily Miller. It is 13-8. Speaking of coaching, Chris, congratulations. You're going to get a, a, a Lifetime Achievement Award from the Ohio High School Volleyball Coaches Association, and that's a very well-deserved honor. Congratulations to you. Well, thanks a lot. I, I did start in 1980. There's probably no coaches left. There's still <laughs> coaching from 1980. but. It's, I really appreciate it. Bob Moran nominated me, and um, and uh, thank you for mentioning that. And back coaching again this year after, what, a 16-year absence? 16 years yeah. ago, so 15 years off. 16 years ago was the last time I coached. A lot of fun this year. What, somebody did that? Yes. That time it was Mary Rindler. 14-9. That was a very accidental thing. She just kind of turned around and got into the net a little bit. It's a Doesn't matter if it's intentional yep, or accidental. Right. Still 15-9 New Bremen. Schrader sets high camp. That was touched at the net and in the back row. So it goes to 16-9. That's her 11th kill. She leads all players. Kiara Steiniger. Cardinal colored uniform. Manichek hit it across. Steiniger got to it. Heitkamp can free ball it over. Damar go for it, couldn't touch it. And because she didn't, the ball went long. 17-9. Well, Calvert wanted a touch, but none of, none of the four officials saw it, so there must not have been one. Happened right in front of Shelby Kitchens here, and he didn't see it. I didn't, wasn't sure. Good serve from Steiniger. Cross-court serve that time. Overpass. An easy put away for Allie Porter. Seventeen ten. Allie picks up her third kill. Caroline Lanachek. Schrader sets high camp. That's blocked. There's Bryn Meyer again. 
Mark, 11 different uh, girls from, excuse me, 10 different girls from Calvert have had spike attempts. They do use a lot of bodies, don't they? Yep. Long. Got a whole bunch of white jerseys kind of get out of the way of that one. Boy, they just all backed out of that at <laughs> yeah, the last did, minute. 18-11. Yeah, damn, our sisters were looking at each other with the big smiles on their face. Melina Schrader will move to the back row. Cameron Shook. Amelia Dammeyer made a dive for it. Couldn't control it into play. It is 18-12. That was a nice hit, uh, hit from Shook. She was 10 or 12 feet off the net. That left hand over on the left side is tough to do that, and she's got seven kills now. Bryn Dirksen, back row to serve and then be in a setter. Heitkamp just pushes it to an open area and got it right on the line. 19-12, smart play. Line judge called it immediately. And Olivia will go back to serve. She has an ace today. And 33 on the season. Schrader got to it. Dan Meyer. And a good push to the back row that time by Cameron Shook. 19-13. Things have kind of stabilized, Chris, but Calvert can't cut into the lead. Yeah, yeah just sort of point here and a point there, a six-point lead. What's been the biggest lead in uh, this 13 set? 13-5 was 13 the biggest five. one. Good job, Damar, keeping it inside the antennas. Emily Miller hit that one. Great dig. Amelia Dammeyer, but it's blocked. Cameron Shook, Bella Borgio. That's a fourth block in, in this set for uh, the Senecas. 19-14, as they did in the opening set, making a run. Ace, 19-15. Kate Coleman. That's her first ace. And just fifth of the season for her. 20-15. And that's the third miss from the Senecas in this set, seventh overall. Sarah Dwanger had an ace the last time that she served. That doesn't seem that long ago. That, that was a quick rotation. <laughs> Emily Miller's shot came up short. It is 21-15. Calvert still has a timeout. Should Coach Rumbach choose to use it in her sixth year at Calvert? In, it is. Kill attempt and put away by Cameron Shook. 21-16. It's really a tough angle, too, for a left-hander. I waited a long time, got a glare off the floor. Wasn't sure whether that was in or not from our vantage point. Heitkamp will set Amelia Dammeyer. And Amelia gets an a, a point out of that, 22-16. That's her eighth. She's having a nice game out she here is. on her outside hitting position. Here's your other designated server, April Baker. She has an ace today, 23 on the season for the sophomore. She's going to serve right down line. Almost. Steininger will set Dammeyer. It's a free ball. Baker saves it. And Kira Steininger made a really good play on the kill attempt. That was disappointed herself and how she played that afterwards. The uh, ball came back to her pretty quickly. 22-17. She doesn't get too many a, a, no. a kill attempts. No. And so, you know, she's probably thinking, ah, it's probably my only time. Well, she does not have a kill on the season, as oh. you would expect from a libero. Back set, Mary Rindler. And... Too many contacts? Uh, foot, I think her foot crossed the center line. I'm uh, not sure which 
girl, maybe Miller. I think it was Miller. Her foot crossed the center line. 23-17 as the good serving Amelia Damai who served very well today. Standing right in front of her team her classmates spelling out Cardinals. That would be Caroline Lanachek's kill, 23-18. And all nine of her classmates over there, the boys that are spelling out Cardinals with one letter on each shirt, they are in correct order. Did they spell it right? They are in correct okay. order, and their middle school teachers are stunned. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia Heitkamp tried to go cross court. Went long with it. It's 23-19. That will allow Claire Schoenberger to serve again. Serves with tight camp. Melina Schrader back sets Rindler. And it rolled across the top of the net and came back to the Bremen for four contacts. 23-20. Yeah, I don't think anybody from uh, on the Tiffin side of the net touched the ball. This is what happened in the, in the opening set. Calvert was down, they made a run late. Didn't quite get there before it ended. Schrader tips it over. Miller was ready for that one. And it's long. Oh, we have a touch. Yeah, Calvert wanted a touch and they got it. 23-21. Claire Schoenberger has served well today. And gets another attempt. Schrader sets Olivia Heitkamp. And a really smart place for the ball by Caroline Lanachek. It is 23-22. Timeout, New Bremen. Timeout, WOSN. You're watching High School Volleyball, the state championship match on WOSN. Our spike sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for, Lee's for all your catering needs. That is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. And our premier sponsor today for the New Bremen Cardinals is Hemelgarn Real Estate. Make your next move with a name you trust. That's Hemelgarn Real Estate. The last five points have gone to the Tiffin Calvert Senecas. They trail by one in set three. Each team has used the timeout. Steiniger lets it go, and it's long. Well, Mark, that's one of the seven times oh. you're not supposed to miss a serve. That's coming out of a out of a timeout. In the state tournament finals? In the state tournament yeah. finals. You have to add that to when it's the... When it's 23 to 22. Yeah. Kara Steiniger trying to serve out set three. But she did give her team some points. Yes, she did. Steiniger got a couple of hands on to keep it alive. Heitkamp, Olivia puts it away. Olivia Heitkamp with a hit to the back row. And just like in set number one, it goes set number three to New Bremen. 25-22, and we have the fourth set coming up after this. You're watching High School State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Set four coming up from the Nutter Center here on the campus of Wright State University. Our presenting sponsor today is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and in St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Set number one, New Bremen, 25-22. Set two, Tiffin Calvert, 28-26. Set three, New Bremen, 25-22. Chris, set numbers. Yeah, for New Bremen, they had nine kills, three uh, ace serves. Uh, they were led in kills by Olivia Heitkamp, who had four, including the kill for the point, or for the set. She has 13 overall. Three ace serves, two by Schrader. They had one miss serve and three blocks. For Calvert, they ended up with 11 kills and one ace, four by uh, the senior Cameron Shook, and three by the freshman Bryn uh, Meyer. They had four miss serves and four blocks. Interestingly, according to my stats, both teams have eight miss serves and eight blocks. Just look at the stat page. That's correct. Uh, eight miss serves for both teams. Four miss serves in that set, though, by uh, 
by Tiffin Calvert, wasn't it? Yes, and three by uh, the Cardinals. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on the scores. Amelia Dammeyer opens the serve. In set four, that's an illegal contact. The Bremen scores the first point. And Amelia Dammeyer will get the serve yet again. Set. Lana check. Tied at one. Our Schoenberger, good service for her, especially in the set number three. Olivia Heitkamp hits it to Schoenberger. And Olivia Dammeyer tried to keep it alive and could not on the kill attempt. And Calvert will go up by a point here early in set number four. Quite an effort, though. I think probably the gyms that both of these schools play in, that ball would have hit the ceiling, but we have such a high ceiling, um, I'm sure a ball will never hit the ceiling, although it's hit the scoreboard. 2-2, two, two. yeah, one of those big round scoreboards in the middle. I've seen it happen once today. This, it, that's up to a pretty good height then. Anyway. It is, yep. Kira Steininger with a score tied at two. That's a double contact. That's happened a couple of times here after a fairly cleanly played match. Here in the first five points of the set, a couple of illegal contacts by Calvert. Should be serving this down line again. Shook, oh, excuse me, land check. That hit was by Allie Porter. Olivia Heitkamp. That time she went cross court and got it in. It's 4-2. Well, she's so good at mixing up her hips. She's gone cross court okay. even more so, and she's been tipping the ball. She goes, she hit that one down line that was in by just a couple of inches. This time Real I'm going to watch Coach Kramer serve, so I know where it's going to go. <laughs> yeah, it's going to go to zone one again. <laughs> oh. No, that, that's not what she called. No, that was not what call. Caroline Lanachek. I was thinking, man, you're really good at predicting that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I realized well, yeah, she was calling them. Yeah. This is year 44, so, yeah. you know. <laughs> but, I uh, can't I'm not that it, good. But though. right to Olivia Miller. Porter again. Trent Minnell. Lanachek from behind the 10-foot line. And Ava Trentman scores. How about her mixing that up? Yeah. She's hit most of hers uh, right in the center of the court. And that one, she pulled it a little bit over to the left. Nobody was there. And she's got her uh, sixth kill. Chris, neither team has done a lot of kill attempts from behind the 10-foot line today. Height camp a few times, but not many. Not as many as normal. That's true. Lena Schrader got to that ball. Kept it alive. And Bryn Meyer, who's had such a good match, hit the ball long at 6-3 Cardinals. Now back to the point of not having a lot of back row hits from Calvert. They do so much substituting. Not very many of their front row players play in the back row, so their hitters are not back mm. there. Instead, they're back row specialists. Doesn't mean they can't hit, but it would sure. not be their forte. Hyde Camp hit it long. 6 4. That wasn't long by much. No. You bring it up two sets to one. We are in set four of the state championship match in Division Four. Bryn Dirksen will serve. And she, Bryn Dirksen gets an ace. 6 5. Uh, first ace to the day and her 25th of the season. We just think Dirksen last year was playing in eighth grade gyms. <laughs> this year she's playing on the last day of the season in a 
in the state championship. Quite a thrill. Whoa, big hit that time. Cameron Shook ties it at six. It is kind of amazing, Chris. In the days past, you wouldn't expect a freshman to play well in an environment like this, and yet it seems like it happens all the time anymore. In my 1980 state tournament program, there is one freshman on a roster, and she did not get in. Ava Trentman was going to get a kill, but instead we're going to get, uh, I, think this, I think it was Bella Borgio in the net. I think it was 19, so it's 7-6 New Bremen. I think there was some confusion on who got that point, but you're, you're right now, yep. Olivia Heitkamp. Block, Danmeyer. And to her sister, Olivia Danmeyer with a kill, 8-6. She hits pretty well on that right side. It's only her third kill, but but uh, she does a nice job over there, blocking and hitting both. I'm glad they wore their hair different today because I can tell them apart that way. Yeah, well, Amelia's is a bit lighter. Pancake attempt doesn't go as Bella Borgio scores for Calvert, 8-7. This is starting out just like set number two did it after is. New Bremen won set one. Back and forth, back and forth. The biggest lead was 6-3, New Bremen. And right after that, Calvert tied it at six. Steininger's gonna set. And Amelia Dammeyer pushes it through a blocker, makes it nine to seven. Steininger gets the assist. That's become a real part of the volleyball over the last couple of years, has it? Letting that libero become more active as a setter. Well, it used to be that you tried to get that pass the ball to the right side hitter if you're out of system and have that right side hitter set the ball. But you're right, lately it's been the uh, the Libro is the one who does that uh, out of system setting. And for the third time in set number four, we get a double contact on Tiffin Calvert, makes it 10 to seven. That's blocked by Mary Rindler. 11-7. She's had a nice game today also. And Mary Rindler's a sophomore. Yep. She played last year, though. And she did. She did. Sarah Dwanger. An ace for Sarah. Makes it 12-7. That's ace number two for her today. And that will be a Tiffin Calvert timeout. We're in the State Volleyball Championship match, set number four. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Hemelgar Real Estate is tonight's premier sponsor for the New Bremen Cardinals. Make your next move with a name you trust. That's Hemelgar Real Estate. The New Bremen Cardinals have taken a five-point lead here at 12-7. Today, that hasn't seemed to bother the Senate because they've been down and they've come back every time. You know, I'm so used to, Chris, to a lot of teams. They use 10, 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds of a timeout, and they're back on the floor. But not Tiffin and Calvert. They're back on the floor with four or five seconds left out of that minute. Sir Dwanger's serve. Emily Miller. Schrader will set Amelia Dammeyer's block. Back set. Olivia Dammeyer. And we got somebody in the net again. No, I'm sorry, we did not. It was a tip out of bounds. I thought the official was going to call him in the net, but not. Mark, were you an official? Did you ever have to call? Um, hold on. We'll go ahead and do the, get this play in. Schrader ran it down, set. Olivia Dammeyer, a point for her again. Two in a row, she's got three uh, kills in this set, five overall. And 14-7, a lot of this by the service. The last six points have been served no, by Sarah Dwanger. Did you ever have to call a team, a penalize a team for not getting back out on the court soon enough after a timeout? I did not. I, I saw it happen, I, I've had my partners call it before, I never had to, no. 
that's just one thing that you just try not to do. Right. Yeah, Maybe yeah. give him a little, a yeah, little yeah. grace. Give him a warning. Minutes, and seconds there, yeah. And that, that's three points in a row. I think uh, the Senecas think they got their hand underneath that. They pancaked it. Olivia Dammeyer makes a play, and three consecutive points for her. Pushes it to 15-7, now 15-8. Dwinger did a nice job getting some points for her team she while she's did. in there serving. She scored six points right there. And her team's up 15 to eight. She got a lot of high fives when she hit the bench over there. Here's Cecilia Palm. Calvert trying to get back in this one. They've rallied in each of the sets today. And that pass was just a little bit off, and uh, Amelia Dammeyer couldn't get to it. Makes it 15-9. Well, she tried to just bop it over with her fist. But the ball had already dropped below the top of the net. Palm again. Back set. And illegal contact. 15-10. Here comes Tiffin. Ty Camp. Melina Schrader will set Murray Rindler. Seemed like she just hung in the air forever on that hit. Schrader will set again. And you know why she missed hit that ball? Because her ankle bucked yes, under her. Yes, it did, yes. Cecilia Palm has been a, a good serving weapon today for Coach Roy Rombach. She is continuing service. She scored three points right here. There's Rindler. Well, if you notice there, Palm has not been serving to Kira Steininger. It is 16-11. Talk about getting some high fives from your teammate. Amelia Dammeyer did after the, her successful run. April Baker to serve. Good serve. But an equally good play by Caroline Lanacek to make it 16-12. Her 11th kill. What was the biggest lead in this uh, so far? Was uh, it six? 15-7 was 15, the biggest seven, lead. Eight. Yeah, so uh, down to four. That's the way the Senecas are. They just keep coming. Olivia Miller. Back set to Rindler. That's blocked. Steininger will set, but overset it. Schrader pops it up, and we had a Calvert set in the net. Number one, that was Bryn Meyer. 17-12. They've had uh, some, some net violations this set, a couple of uh, ball handling errors as well. A little off in this set in some respects for Calvert. And what? Four contacts. 18-12. I think the Senecas thought maybe that uh, it was touched. Yeah, either by yeah. Uh, Heidkamp or Rindler, but I couldn't see myself, and we're pretty close, Mark. Hard to tell. Lanacek hits it through the block of Mary Rindler to make it 18-13. How can you not like Caroline Lanacek? Oh, I know it. Yep. Such a consistent hitter. I'm sure she'll be playing somewhere next year. I've, we don't have any information on that. Claire Schoenberger. Does not have an ace today, but has 53 this season. And she, oh, I thought she was going to get an ace out of it. Instead, it was played. Schoenberger hits it across. Riddler's set. Palm will set this time. Good play by Olivia Dammeyer. And then Heitkamp hits it hard, but to Schoenberger. Lanacek's play. Good point going here. It is. Heitkamp again. That was blocked by Lanacek. And then a really nice placement of the ball by Allie Porter. 18-14. Good point. She picks up her uh, fifth kill. 
Schoenberger again, the sophomore. And can't quite keep it alive. 18-15. Heitkamp had to dive for the first one and then couldn't get up in time to play the third one. That came to her pretty quickly. It did. Schoenberger again. And she gets an ace that time, hits it to Steiniger, it's 18-16. It's ace number two. That just dove down in front of Kiera. It did, again, a short serve. Short serve has given uh, the Cardinals some fits today. Here we go again to Heitkamp. Schrader sets Heitkamp. Whoa. Oh, boy. Right down. Get out of the way when she hit that one. Right down the line with a lot of authority. 19-16. How about the set from Lillian Schrader, though? And I thought she was going to uh, do one of her famous left-handed mm -hmm. hits. So completely fooled me. Tipped by Heitkamp. That was tipped by Trentman. Good play by Danmeyer. Run that one down. And then Heitkamp goes through a blocker. 2016. Cardinals need five. 17th kill. Scoreboard sponsored by Homan Insurance. New Bremen needs five. Schrader will set Heitkamp again. That nice was hit dig. to Cecilia Palm, but yes, yet another Heitkamp hit. 21-16. Yeah, I said nice dig. Actually, she played it well, positioned it well, but the ball ended up hitting the net outside the antenna. Timeout. That one to Tiffin Calvert, their final one. They trail by five. You're watching the State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Spike sponsor, Lee's, famous recipe chicken and lime, a Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's, famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here. The serve's going right down line again. Tiffin Calvert has used both of their timeouts and Olivia High Camp and Ava Tretman get a block. That's a tenth block for the Cardinals today. 22 16. Cardinal fans, they're up ready to celebrate. Kiera Steiniger. Cecilia Palm will do the set this time. She hits it to Amelia Dammeyer. Trentman hits. Ava Trentman scores. It's 23 16. That's her seventh kill. Kiera Steiniger. She has served the last four points. Set. That hit was by Bryn Meyer. Heitkamp's going to get another opportunity, and she uh, hits it off a blocker again. 24 16. New Bremen a point away for a third state championship. And you got one of their best servers back there serving. She's going to go zone one again. Back set. Steiniger plays it. Here's Heitkamp, going to get an opportunity. She put it away! And the New Bremen Cardinals win back-to-back -back state championships, this time in set number four, 25-16. They took set number three, 25-22. Tiffin Calvert won the, the second set, 28-26. But New Bremen had won the first set, 25-22. And the New Bremen Cardinals can celebrate. Yeah, congratulations to them for winning the state championship again. Another great performance by all the players who played. And also congratulations to Tiffin Calvert for having a, a very nice season. And, and uh, this was really a really nice state championship match. Both teams played well. Uh, the first three sets were very close. Could have gone either way. Lou Bremen State Championships 2017, 2019, 2022, and 2023.
Chris and I will gather our thoughts and come back for a post game after this. You're watching the State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back here at the Nutter Center where the New Bremen Cardinals have just won the state championship in 2023 with a four-set victory over the Tiffin Calvert Senecas. Chris, before we get into some stat numbers, let, let's throw some props out to that Tiffin Calvert team. The five seniors have played extremely well all season long and competed very well today. They did, and uh, 12 girls played in at least three of the sets. That, that's just amazing. It that is. They've got so, so good a balance that they can do that. And um, they only lost four sets all year coming into this one. They play an extremely tough schedule. They beat Toledo St. Ursula, who was down here in Division I. Just a, a tremendous season and a really nice season for their seniors. That it was. Why don't you go through our stat numbers a little bit, and we'll put some thoughts together about the Cardinals. Okay, so first of all, for Calvert, uh, they had 42 kills, led by Caroline Lanichek with 13 and Shook with 10. Uh, they had uh, nine ace serves. Schoenberger had three, and Cecilia Palm had three blocking. They had uh, they had ten blocks. Uh, actually, a little more than that. Led by uh, Lanichek with with four, and um, just a very nice season to them. So congratulations yeah. to the Senecas. Why don't we go through the New Bremen stats too? Okay, they ended up with 58 kills, led by the first team All Ohioan. Olivia Heitkamp had 20. She was set 52 times. And Olivia Dammeyer ended up with 10 kills, and she was set 27 times. Melina Schrader, ankle and all, 40 assists. She had 98 set attempts, just amazing. And we saw her grimace many times yes. with that bruised ankle. And uh, they ended up uh, with um, 20 blocks and led by uh, Trentman with six. The game was tied 17 times overall, and we had six lead changes. And uh, other than the fourth set, any of the sets could have gone either way. You know, as I'm looking at our stat page, Chris, it says that Melina Schrader handled the ball 98 times and did not make a single error with, with, with her, with her hand, handling of the ball today. Yeah, just amazing. Just amazing, and, and play on a bad ankle. I, I know that uh, she really gutted it out. I saw Coach Kramer beforehand, and she said she's going to play, and she'll play with some guts, and she certainly did today. So New Bremen, how about this, Chris? They're going to graduate three girls, but three very talented girls who all played very well today in high camp, Amelia Dammeyer and Olivia Dammeyer. Well, they've all three of them have been on varsity at least three years. And high camp may have been for four years. I can't remember. Yeah. But they are all tremendous players, and they're going to be missed. But I have a feeling that uh, New Bremen's going to have a pretty good volleyball team again next year. So Tiffin Calvert will end the 2023 season as state runner-up 27-2. The New Bremen Cardinals and Coach Diana Kramer will win their fourth state championship since 2017. They will go to 25 and four on the season and wrap it up with again, back-to-back -back state championships. We're gonna thank our crew here today. That's been Jacob O'Neill, did all of the sound work, technical work, camera work, and got us on air. And also we wanna thank Nick Stra Fraley back at the station who will edit all this together for you. Our sponsors today have been Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Holman Interiors, and Hemelgarn Real Estate, and we appreciate their support as well. This will wrap up our volleyball coverage for the 2023 season. We hope you have enjoyed it on WOSN. New Bremen Cardinals, 25-22, 26-28, 25-22, and 25-16, and they will be state champions in Division IV in 2023. You've been watching State Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.